Lesson 4. The use of string manipulation. You can change the text in your program and this is called string manipulation. Should I use double or single quotation marks? In Python you can use single quotation marks as shown here or double quotation marks. You can use three sets of double quotation marks to write over more than one line, as shown here. How do I use quotation marks in a string? You can use double quotation marks inside the string by using single quotation marks on the edge of the string, as shown here. How can I find out the length of a string? In this program, we have a variable called sentence. And the sentence is equal to a string, hello and welcome to Python. If we then use a print statement, uh, len in brackets sentence, it will tell us how long the string is. Let's run the program to see what happens. And it tells us the string is 27 characters long, which includes spaces. This can be useful in a password program, for example. In this case here, we have a, a password variable and we're asking someone to enter the password then the program will tell us how long the password is. Let's just run the program. Let's enter the password. It tells us the password is five characters long. You can also use the sentence variable and the word upper to make sure that every single character in the sentence is uppercase. If I run this now, this program, and press enter, it will make sure that every character in the sentence is uppercase. If you'd like the whole sentence in lowercase, you can just use the word lower. So if you run this program here, and I type in lower case, and run the program, it presents the characters in lowercase. If you use capitalize, it makes the first letter of the first word a capital letter. So we run this program now, type in hello world, and it makes the first letter of the first word a capital H. If you use the word title, it makes the first letter of every word a capital letter. Let's run this one. And as you can see, it's made the first letter of every word a capital letter. You can also use the word replace to replace one letter in a string with another letter. In this case, we're replacing the O's with A. Let's run the program. Type in our sentence. And then press enter. As you can see, it's replaced the O's with A. Sometimes you wish to use formatting to create a table. You can see here we've got a number of variables for car types, a number of variables for the price of the cars. We can present this information in the table using formatting here, as you can see. We've used uh, these curly brackets here to present the, the, uh, the data in a particular way. So we now run the program. You can see it produces a very nice uh, table to display the data in a very clear format.